Okay, today we're looking at the Sound Shark. Now this is a small parabolic dish and it works with a lav microphone. So the parabolic dish is designed to pick up sounds that are further away from you. Um, it's the same basically dish style that you'll find on the sides of sporting events. Um, those guys with the huge dishes. This is just a scaled down version and for a microphone, they use a lab microphone. So let me unbox it. Now they sent this one to me used. So it's already set up. I'm sure it comes uh, a little bit cleaner than this. So they have a lab microphone placed in the middle here. So there's a clip that just holds it in place. You see there's a little bit of Velcro to hold the cord down the middle here. And it just mounts to the uh, cold shoe, hot shoe of your camera. And then it just plugs right into your camera. So this is a standard lab mic with plug-in power. And what it's supposed to do is collect that sound, uh, whatever you're pointing it towards, it'll collect that sound and then it'll bounce around and then get picked up by the lab microphone in the center. So it's supposed to pick up sound that's further away. They also include this little wind cover, um, kind of weird looking, but uh, this goes over the dish and it's supposed to block off some noise. Now, what a lot of people get confused about is a shotgun microphone versus something like this parabolic dish that we're going to test later today. So a shotgun microphone is, isn't, it's not designed to pick up sound further away like a parabolic dish would. Um, what it's doing is it's just picking up sound that is more in front of it and it's rejecting sound from the sides and the rear. So most of the sound is gonna be picked up from the front. And so it, it appears to be more focused sound. Uh, but people are always confused that it's going to pick up a distance away. But really, these microphones here are designed to reject the sounds on the side and in the rear. And your pickup is somewhere about one foot to three feet away. And it'll sound really good. It'll just be focused sound. Um, the best analogy that I could think of is if you were to take a cardboard tube like this. And you were to look down the middle here. Um, I have more focused vision towards the center and I don't see anything off to the sides or, you know, obviously to the rear. I only see what's down this little tube here, but I'm not seeing further. I'm just seeing what's down the tube. Um, so that's kind of how a shotgun microphone works, I guess, is it's picking up just what's in front of it. It's still a short distance away for the best sound, um, but because it's so focused down the middle, you think that it's picking up further, but it really doesn't. So these parabolic dishes here are designed to get those sound waves, bounce it around inside. It gets bounced towards the center where this microphone is, and then it picks up that sound. So um, what do you use it for? Uh, guys who shoot sporting events, maybe you want that sound that's that further away. They're kind of pitching it for scratch audio, like maybe you're shooting a wedding and you have a camera way in the back. Um, you just want to pick up that sound that's like, you know, way down the aisle or something. Uh, so there's a couple of different uses where you may need to get sound that is far away. And these microphones here, although they'll be focused towards that sound, they won't pick it up um, as good as a parabolic dish. But we'll test this out and we'll see uh, if it makes any difference. Anyways, let's get started on this test. What we have here is the GH5 with the Sound Shark on top. We also have an Asden SMX30 shotgun microphone over here. What I've done is I've set this one to mono. Uh, this is a lab mic mono. We're using a splitter here. And we have both left and right channels. As you can see, um, the left one is the Asden and the right one is the Sound Shark. And then across the way, you probably can't see, but way up on the table, I have a Bluetooth speaker. So I'm going to play music on that speaker. And we're going to see how much sound um, each one of these microphones picks up from a distance. And then we're going to lower the volume, try to get it kind of low and uh, see which one actually works uh, better at picking up sound from a distance. So we're recording now.
So that was a quick interesting test. What you guys just heard was me cutting back and forth between the sound recorded from the Sound Shark versus sound recorded from the Asin SMX30. Now if you guys are wondering if a parabolic collector works, I could say that it definitely does because this is just a lav mic placed inside of a parabolic collector here. And a lav mic normally has a close pickup pattern. So it's not really designed to get sound from a distance. So the fact that we were able to get louder volume from the lav mic than the Asden SMX30 proves that we're getting sound from a distance using this technique here. Now, I could see a lot of instances where I could use something like this. As a matter of fact, I just did something recently where we were in a room and it was just kind of like a casual conversation between police officers and community. And uh, the problems that we had were, you know, no one was no one was mic'd up. They didn't have a mic um, on set. It was just very casual. But when there was someone in the audience that was talking a distance away, it was very faint. And if you think about using a microphone like this, uh, like the Asden SMX30 or Rode Video Mic, you know, they're only designed to get that audio from a close distance. As it gets further out, the audio starts to get faint. And that's what they're designed to do so that, you know, it eliminates all of that noise pollution. Uh, so that's why these shotgun mics sound better. But a microphone like this is going to get that sound from a distance. So looking back at some of my microphone tools, you know, you have XY stereo microphones, ENG type microphones, lab microphones, shotgun microphones. I have a lot of different types of microphones, but in my collection, I don't have one that's designed to pick up a distance away. So I could see myself adding this to my arsenal of audio because it is used for a very specific purpose and it's gonna work better than anything else I have. Um, so while it's not designed to replace a lav mic clipped onto your talon or a shotgun microphone boomed overhead, um, again, it's just a different type of microphone used for a different purpose. It's not gonna replace anything um, that you existingly have. It's just something that you might wanna add to your kit. Um, so anyways, that's just a quick test. Uh, we're going to use it a lot more obviously and try out other things. But if you guys are interested in knowing more about this product, I'm going to have a link below this video or also on the blog cheesycam.com.